Are you ready for a deep dive into a time series model using the Kamlagoff Arnold representation theory? One of my commentators today asked about this approach, so let's jump in. The Khan approach has become popular in the time series literature lately, and it's because its main idea that you can take anything that's complex, continuous function, and you can approximate that by breaking that down into univariate functions and summing this all up together. Now, this approach also has implications for interpretability, but let's first look at accuracy. I've implemented the Khan approach in this notebook. I'm taking advantage of Nixla, which has already integrated Khan into their forecasting models. I benchmark CAN against other baseline approaches on the widely used M3 and M4 datasets. Now, training CAN is slower, but it did outperform the vanilla ML pre approach, although our baseline statistical approaches were even better. As for interpretability, I can observe the individual unit functions CAN approaches, but it's still not clear to me exactly how this contributes to understanding my predictions or improving this model. Back to the HIPPO paper, the HIPPO technique is a pre-processing step that creates a structured approximation which helps boost performance and efficiency in kind of building the time series models. I like exploring diverse algorithmic approaches, but don't expect Khan to be a silver bullet. And if you're interested, I can share this notebook, and if there's demand, I can do a step-by-step -step video tutorial.